Hello, my name is Chris, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Nextcloud with MySQL. So this makes it to where you, you'll hold all the Nextcloud tables inside your MySQL and your data. So uh, not everything uh, about your data, like files and stuff, will not be stored in the database, of course. So a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, I'm going to install things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you like that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. So I'm going to uh, install MySQL first. So I'm going to go into my Big Bear Video Assets, and uh, there, there will be a link down in the description to get to it. So I'm going to go into how to install NetCloud and MySQL right here. Then I'm going to go into Docker Compose MySQL. Then I'm going to use Docker Compose version 3. I'm going to add services down here. Then the first service is MySQL. And then I'm going to get MySQL off of Docker Hub. I'm going to get version 8 ta tag. I'm going to set a container name to MySQL. Then I'm going to set some environment variables. So I'm going to set a MySQL root password, ch uh, change this. And then a My MySQL database will be NextCloud. That that'll be the default database that goes in. The MySQL user will be Big Bear. You can change this. Then MySQL password will be password and uh, change this. So I would recommend having a different password for the root and a different pa password for the, uh, the database. So um, map port uh, 3306 on the host side to 3306 in the container side. So you can change the host port, but I wouldn't recommend it. So now map a volume from the host. So I'm going to map data, MySQL my, my on the host. So you can change this if you'd like. And then to var lib MySQL. So um, now that these two will sync together. So now I'm gonna go up here to copy the raw file. I'm gonna copy it. Then I'm gonna go over to my Casa OS and install it. So now we will go over to the Casa OS. I'm using my Xen board. So I'm gonna go into App Store now. And I'm gonna go up to Custom Install. Then I'm gonna go to Import. Then I'm gonna paste in what I just co copied in the last in my Git uh, uh, Hub re or repo, a big video assets. So that should be good to go. So I'm gonna uh, submit. Now I'm gonna give it a title. Then I need to get an icon URL and I have that on Big Bear Video Assets. So I'll go over here and I'm gonna go up to a little bit a little bit backwards and I'm gonna mop my SQL icon right here. Then I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna go back over to Cos OS. I'm gonna paste it in. We have no web UI port because this is not a UI port, so I'm not gonna put that in. Now, you can change the passwords and database user and the MySQL password down here. So, now I'm going to install. I'm gonna continue in background. And then it's just downloading the Docker container, extracting it, um, then it's gonna start up the Docker Compose. What's cool about Cos OS is you got the network status so, so you can see what it's doing and what the CPU and RAM's doing at that exact same time. So, we got MySQL installed, so you can go over here. If it had a web UI port, you could open it. You can put your tips in, like custom tips that you'd like to put in. Then you can go to settings and change the settings of the uh, Docker Compose. And then once you change the settings, you can just press save down here. You can go over here, you can uh, see the terminal logs when it started up. Then you can export the Docker Compose. 
Now I'm going to go back over here and you can check for updates for the Docker container. Then you can uninstall the Docker uh, com uh, uh, Compose. Then you can restart, power off and on the container. So now we have that installed. So let's move on to the next part. So now we are going to install Nextcloud now. So I'm gonna go into how to install Nextcloud on uh, uh, and MySQL on Casa OS right here. Then I'm gonna go to Docker and post Nextcloud. And then I'm gonna use version three of Docker Compose. I'm gonna have services and then Nextcloud is gonna be the service underneath the services. And then I'm gonna get an image from Linux server, Nextcloud and the latest tag. I'm going to name the container Nextcloud. I'm going to set some environment variables. So for user group IDs is 1000, 1000. You can set your time zone here. And then I'm going to have some volumes. So I'm going to do data, app data, Nextcloud config on the host side. You can change this if you like, but this is the recommended way for cost OS. And then on the cont container is config. Now on the host side is going to be data, app data, Nextcloud data. And then in the container is data. So are, they, are these sync back and forth? So now I'm going to start at some ports. So I'm going to do 443 on the host side and then 443 on the container side. You can change the host side if you'd like, but I don't re recommend it. So now restart unless stopped so if you stop it it will not try to restart but if you uh but but if it fails it will try to restart so um let's go ahead and let's copy this file and let's go over to casa os and get it installed so now we're in the casa os again and i'm gonna go to app store then i'm gonna go up to custom install then i'm gonna go to import then I'm going to paste in the Docker Compose. And then I'm going to submit. So now I'm going to give a title to it. So next cloud. Then I'm going to need a icon URL. So I'm going to go over to Big Bear Video Assets. I'm going to go backwards. I'm going to uh, copy this URL right here, the next cloud icon. And I'm going to go to Casa OS again. I'm going to paste it in. So now I'm going to set the web UI port to 443. I'm going to set it to HTTPS. And then I don't know why it does this, but I'm going to have to fill in the next cloud on that one. So data app data next cloud config, data app data uh, next cloud uh, data. So now it set the environment variables right. So now I'm going to install. So, this is just doing like it did before, where it's downloading it, extracting it, and then it's going to start up the Docker Compose. Then now it's almost done. It downloaded the newer image. Okay, it started up. So you can go in here and open tips, settings, check for updates, uninstall, restart, and then power off and on. So you can go into set settings and change it here. And I'm gonna just open Nextcloud and see if it's working. It's preparing to launch. So it hasn't quite launched yet. And now we're using a self-signed certificate. So we're going to have to proceed. Okay, now it's asking us to create an admin account. So we're going to do that in the next step. So now if you had a port conflict with 443, because that's a pretty common port for HTTPS. So 
you, you could have another app on your cost os uh that i don't have so i'm going to go over here and i'm going to go to settings then i'm going to go to host right here i'm going to just type in a port that i don't think is assigned and then i'm going to make sure it's HTTPS. then i'm going to go to 7200 right here then i'm going to go down to save And then now it's restarted and it says it's okay. So let's go and see if it worked. So if you get this, you just need to keep on refreshing. And then now we have it up and running and it's on 7200. So we should be good to go now. So now I'm going to get to installing a Nextcloud. So I'm going to um, go into my Casa OS. Then I'm going to go to next slide right here. And then now I will go ahead and type in a username. And then I'm going to put in a password for my account to sign in. I'm going to go down here to storage and database right here. I'm going to click MySQL. I'm going to put in my database user. I'm going to put in my database password. Then I'm going to um, put in my database name and I'm going to change the host to my IP address of my Casa OS. So this database user will be inside of the config in your Casa OS. So over here, you'll go over to the, uh, the MySQL, then you'll scroll down here and you can see all the data of what you need over in the next cloud config. So there's pa password, my MySQL users, big bear. So I'm gonna go back over to next cloud. So now I'm gonna press install. And sometimes this does get hung up on installing so you need to refresh the page. So on the setups, it sometimes uh, gets hung up on on uh, getting it all set up on that screen. So um, all you have to do is close that setup screen, then go back into your Cos OS, and then go back into your next cloud right here. And then here you go, your login's up. So you can go and put your account name and your password in that you put in the setup screen. So now I'm going to log in. Okay, now it's up and running. So you can go ahead and you can see that it's running. So we got it up and running on Casa OS Nextcloud. So there you have it. Uh, Nextcloud installed with MySQL on Casa OS. Uh, this makes it to where you can keep your data centralized in that one database. So. If you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our Discord. And stay tuned for more.